Uh, Samara Riviera here with Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. How does that feel being out here? Cindy Lauper and friends home Amazing. for the holidays. Crazy. <laughs> uh, I feel it's such an honor and a privilege to be here and to be a part of this amazing event. Um, and I, I just feel so blessed that, you know, she asked me to be a part of it. So there's a lot of charitable events, you know, going on, especially for the holidays. Why this one with Cindy Lauper? You know, it's something, you know, because of what I do um, is so different. Um, you know, I always say, um, you know, growing up, I always felt like I didn't belong, that I was different than everyone else. And it was my gift. And until I really embraced my journey here in the physical world to God intended me to be is when I felt complete. And I think that's with anything in life, no matter what it is. And, uh, you know, to help people to embrace themselves and to say, you know, you be who, you know, I know how you feel. You know, it's a, who, who decided what is normal? That's what I want to know. That's what I always say. Because talking to dead people, I think, is the farthest thing from being normal. But it makes me feel complete. And to me, it's normal. So... Awesome. Well, thank you for coming out thank and supporting. You. Thank you. Uh, any new projects going on? Oh, there's always there's always new stuff. So uh, the season uh, the season premiere of Long Island Medium um, is going to be February 19th, and I have uh, my third book coming out, Good Grief. Uh, learn how to embrace life and heal your soul and honor your loved ones. Come out in March, and then I'll be back uh, at hitting the uh, road, uh, touring the country. So awesome. Good luck with all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, tell Happy us. Holidays. Tell us. Um, you're a medium, obviously yeah. you communicate and talk to people that have passed on. Yeah. Do you think most people have or other people can have that ability, yes. but they, they have to learn how to tap into it? Well, I know that everyone has that connection with their own loved ones. Um, I just always say that I have the amazing ability to connect with everyone's loved ones. But I, my, my main mission of what I do is not really people to believe in mediums. I want them to believe in themselves, to know that what they're experiencing is real and that that is their loved ones reaching out to them and letting them know that that is them and that they are still with them, loving, supporting them, and guiding them here in the physical world. And, you know, you're responsible for your own happiness, so it's important to embrace who you feel you need to be. Now, what advice can you give someone that wants to connect with their... Oh, I always say, I, I say this to all my clients, um, you know... Whatever goes on around you that is odd, weird, different, a coincidence, or just remind you of your loved ones, just embrace that as a message from them. I always call them the little hellos from heaven. Awesome. Well, thank you so much thank for the interview. Oh, Good so to nice meet you. you. Have a great time. <laughs> you too.